Hi, and welcome to the screencast where we're going to see how to create a scatter plot with a trend line using a Google spreadsheet. So here I have some data that show the population of Nashville, Tennessee from 1810 to 2010 in 10-year increments. To create a scatter plot of these data, I'm going to do the following. First, I highlight the data. Then I click Insert, then Chart, then Charts, then Scatter, then the color chart on top. Note that a preview of the scatter plot appears on the right. A scatter plot is just a visualization of the data where every pair of points appears as a point in the XY plane. Now let's format this graph with a title, axis labels, and a different number of grid lines. So click Customize, then add a title, and then a label for the horizontal axis. Then we can change the number of grid lines so that there are more or less than what the default gives. You should always experiment with the number of grid lines until the increments, the tick marks on the x-axis, are sensible. For example, six grid lines gives me nice increments in the year values. Then go back and select the left vertical axis and repeat this process. Once you're done, you can click Insert to put the chart in the spreadsheet and then drag it so it doesn't cover up the data. So now we have a scatter plot. To add a trend line to the plot, which is just a curve that fits the data, click on any data point in the scatter plot. A small menu bar should appear. Then select the pull down menu on the right of that menu bar and choose the type of function you want. For me, I'm going to select a cubic or degree three polynomial. Once the trend line is visible, you can change the visual aspects of it, such as color and thickness, by clicking on the trend line and then making adjustments from the menu bar that shows up. Thanks for watching.